Hi, thank you for watching Dig Into China. I'm Dong Xiong. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Around Chinese New Year, extensive rain and snowfall have been observed in the central and the eastern regions of China, with Hubei and the Henan province experiencing particularly severe snow conditions. The heavy snow and the freezing rain, especially in Hubei province, have led to significant blockages on highways, causing some vehicles to be stranded for three days and nights. Many individuals on social media have expressed a dissatisfaction with the lack of preparedness exhibited by local governments for such extreme weather conditions. Therefore, what role should the government play in such situations? Foreign media has covered this snowstorm, highlighting the experiences of Hubei resident Peng Feng. Starting from February 5th, most public buses in the prefecture-level cities of Hubei province have been suspended. Assessing the snow conditions on the roads, Peng Feng realized that relying on his electric bike might not be feasible, so he opted for a regular bicycle instead. Estimating a snow depth of around 20 centimeters on February 5th, a close approximation to the reported 18 centimeters, Peng Feng set out on a journey of over 10 kilometers meters from his home. It took him approximately two hours to reach his friend's house, and in certain sections he had to carry his bicycle to traverse over snow drifts. Being retired and at home, Peng Feng wasn't significantly impacted by the snow. His only venture outside was to a friend's place for a drink. Nevertheless, the widespread highway blockages in different areas of Hubei due to the snowstorm have stirred up considerable discussion on social media. Numerous reports on the situation have also been featured in official media. As per reports from the paper, a snowstorm struck Hubei starting from February 3rd, causing immediate and serious traffic congestions on highways. By the afternoon of February 5th, over 100 toll stations of highways in regions like Wuhan, Xiaogan, Jinzhou, Huanggang, Xianying, Suizhou, and more continued to enforce traffic controls. Some vehicles endured a relentless three-day and three-night standstill on the highways. In the face of hunger and anxiety, many individuals had to leave their vehicles to chip away at ice and push their cars forward. Even though Peng Feng didn't encounter the highway issues firsthand, he wasn't taken aback by the reports. He openly expressed his disappointment with the government's lack of proactive measures, stating, They are essentially unprepared for such situations. Their approach is sluggish and procrastinating. It's only when the situation becomes dire that they gradually initiate some action. Ultimately, they hold all the decision-making power in this society. Peng Feng told the reporter that on the morning of February 6, after a day of the snow stopping, he noticed very few snow plows on the streets as he rode his bike to a friend's house. He remarked, When I came back, I didn't see any snow plows. On the way there, I only spotted one. Ahead of the heavy snowfall, Peng Feng observed in official news that the local governments was convening meetings to devise policies for addressing the snow situation. However, when the significant snowfall occurred, he didn't see the anticipated results. He commented, In essence, they had plans and discussions in meetings, but the practical implementation wasn't as prompt as they portrayed it to be. Yet, official media reports depict the government as diligent and committed. According to the reports, in response to the impact of the snow, various local governments have implemented measures. According to an article from 21st Century Business Herald, after the occurrence of snow on the Hubei section of Xu Gong Expressway on February 2nd and 3rd, Hubei's high-speed traffic police, in collaboration with the road maintenance departments, offered assistance to individuals stuck on the road overnight. They provided necessities such as hot water and instant noodles, and organized snow-clearing operations. 
The Hubei Provincial Department of Transportation reported that by 3 p.m. on the 4th, highway departments throughout Hubei had collectively utilized 8,206 tons of de-icing agents including industrial salt and deployed de-icing agents spreading machines 880 times. However, according to a Phoenix News report with official backing, drivers on some expressways claim to have been stranded for four days and three nights in Hubei with no snow removal measures in place and no traffic police providing assistance. This supports the circulating social media rumors that numerous drivers were left with no choice but to take matters into their own hands. As of now, this particular report has been removed. Around three weeks ago, in the Washington DC area of the United States, situated half a world away from Hubei, an uncommon heavy snowfall occurred, resulting in an accumulation of approximately 10 centimeters of snow. Despite the local road blockage and an uptick in traffic accidents due to the snowy conditions, the roads were largely navigable. Notably, the highways did not encounter significant congestion. Washington DC is located near the 39th parallel north, about 8 degrees higher in latitude than the provincial capital of Hubei, Wuhan. Despite this difference, Washington DC is not known for frequent icy and snowy conditions, and the significant snowfalls are relatively rare, occurring every few years. The most recent substantial snowfall took place in 2016, with the snow reaching a depth of up to 60 centimeters. Jeffrey Nutson, an on-site director of the Division of Highway Service in Montgomery County, a suburb near Washington DC, explained to reporters that despite Washington DC not facing heavy snowfall every year, the local government has an annual plan for snow preparedness. He mentioned, we engage in year-long preparations, updating equipment, procuring de-icing salt, and entering contracts with service companies. The specific measures depend on the anticipated size of the snowfall. Montgomery County, located near Washington DC and a part of the Washington metropolitan area, spans approximately 500 square miles and has a population of around 1.1 million. As per Nuts, the county consistently operates about 200 snow removal devices, including snow plows. Additionally, the county government leases snow removal equipment from private companies. Nutson explained, the contracted companies provided approximately 300 pieces of equipment, and they may also engage subcontractors to enhance our resources further. According to Nutson, if faced with a major snowstorm, Montgomery County would engage in consultations with other local governments in the Washington DC metropolitan area to collectively address snow management issues. Whenever a severe snowstorm is predicted seven days in advance, the Council of the Washington DC metropolitan area convenes a meeting with representatives from various government agencies in attendance, he stressed. Nutson underscored the necessity of taking proactive measures, noting that in the event of a snowstorm, both public and private institutions must close early, significantly disrupting the transportation system across the entire Washington DC's region. The term Council of the Washington DC Metropolitan Area encompasses representatives from the federal government, the District of Columbia government, as well as the neighboring state governments of Maryland and Virginia. Additionally, it includes representatives from the local governments of various counties in the region. In addition to snow removal operations, uh, coordination is essential among various government departments due to the rise in traffic accidents during snowfall, Nutson clarified. Personnel from local fire departments, emergency management, and emergency medical services offices must also be deployed to address any emergency situations on the roads. Nelson supplemented the information by stating that Montgomery County has around 5,400 land miles, representing the total length of each lane on the roads. Of these, 1,600 land miles are designated for primary emergency traffic. Our primary goal is to clear snow from these roads before addressing side roads or residential areas.
he clarified. Nelson stated that during a blizzard in the Washington DC area, snow accumulation usually falls between 5 to 25 centimeters. The current equipment in Montgomery County is generally adequate for snow removal within this range. However, if the snowfall surpasses this limit, there may be a requirement to borrow personnel and equipment from other states. Montgomery County is a member of the American Public Works Association. Nutson explained that the county sends representatives annually to participate in APWA conferences. The association comprises many states in the northern regions accustomed to regular snowfall. Each spring, we attend these conferences where valuable information is shared and numerous courses are offered. He mentioned. These conferences also showcase new equipment, including satellite navigation devices for tracking each snowplow. A comparable heavy snowfall in Washington DC and Hubei, China resulted in entirely different scenarios. For a government that often boasts about its mastery over the nation, particularly one that has published a comprehensive four-volume compilation of speeches and articles by the top leader titled Xi Jinping, The Governance of China. The absence of clear guidance during a crisis has led to public skepticism about the legitimacy and the credibility of the Chinese Communist Party. This also highlights a critical yet not always explicitly visible distinction in leadership, emphasizing that the ability to control does not necessarily translate to effective social governance. What actions, preferences, capabilities, aversions, limitations, and the reluctance does the authoritarian Chinese Communist Party have? If effective governance involves transparency, accountability, and the responsiveness to the people's needs, the Chinese government has largely fallen short of practicing these principles. This holds true whether in the stringent zero COVID policies, the disorderly reopening process, or even when dealing with a substantial snowfall. In 2013, Xi Jinping stated in a speech, the level of our party's governance and its effectiveness are not determined by ourselves. They must and can only be judged by the people. And the people are the highest arbiter and ultimate judge of our party's work. If one boasts of being clever, detaches oneself from the people, or places oneself above the people, they will inevitably be abandoned by the people. This is a universal truth in the development of history, applicable to all parties, past and the present, at home and abroad. As Xi Jinping himself stated, the Chinese Communist Party will inevitably be abandoned by the people. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button right here. I'll see you again shortly. Until then, be well.